I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline. Want you by my head. I'm doing all this face time. Need some low time, baby. You're always running in my mind. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. Can't spend time alone. Give you my hoodie just so you can smell my cologne. Don't like all this distance. I want you close. I'm missing your existence. Fill my head with some clouds, baby. hey guys good morning welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title it's gonna be a Gibraltar vlog however I don't know if you okay no you probably don't know however we're still home right now we haven't gone yeah and that's because our flight is tomorrow on a Tuesday so right now I just have to start parking our clothes which I should have packed yesterday on Sunday but I couldn't because I was working so I'm gonna be doing the packing today so today is David's birthday if you don't follow me on Instagram you probably don't know this but today is David's birthday um, and so that's why we're going to Gibraltar because we're going to be celebrating his birthday anywho guys let us get parking I'm not even sure if I'm gonna show you the, the you guys that part or not but uh yeah i just i just want to get parking now and have some shima because i'm gonna be, we're gonna be going for like four days so i'm gonna have some shima before we go you know like I, i'm just having that ishima craving right now but anywho i'll see you guys shortly or oh, whatever Hey guys, so we have made it to our first hotel. There's not much to say really apart from we just arrived and David's gonna go and check in one of our bags, the big luggage. And then I'm gonna stay here and try to fix my hair. Christmas pies, I used to know. And I am done, guys. <laughs> okay, uh, wait, you want to do that again? 
so this is the holiday look uh not entirely because i'm thinking of braiding it tomorrow like braiding it this way and braiding it that way too but for today i think let's have some fun with the hair <laughs> yeah let's have some fun with the hair uh my hair is really grown um, yeah, it's really grown and it needs a trim it absolutely needs a trim so we're gonna do that when we get back from Gibraltar. Oh my god, I have brain freeze. Does anybody have these brain freezes? But anyway, for now, let's go and get some dinner. Mm, we're not sure what we're gonna have for now, but let's go. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's, let's see what they have. Let's see what they have. So see you soon, guys. Let's see what they have. Let's let's go and find out, guys. I'm really, I'm really. I don't know. How do I look? I'm really feeling this. I am. I, I really am. Hmm? Girl. Even though my edges are not slayed, but we don't slay edges, as do we? Yeah. Hey guys, so we just dropped off our bags at the. Actually, David already dropped them off, but we just. What did we do? Yes, we just got our boarding passes. Okay, that scared me. That's somebody. Yeah, so we just got our boarding passes uh, and now we're heading back to the hotel because we we didn't manage to get food. We initially went out to get food and we couldn't find any so we're now heading back but at least we got something done, we got our boarding passes so that's great. god the skin is glowing right now <laughs> okay i can't believe this my skin is is absolutely right now the what the sun around okay so the sun is making my skin glow according to my husband he can't just say my skin is glowing anyway um yes guys so i just want to talk about the perks of being a non-eu citizen we didn't have to queue when we were passing through immigration passport office control and that's just so amazing so just remember when you're out here in europe anywhere anyway as long as there aren't so many people who are non-eu citizens you're gonna have a smooth sail through immigration <laughs> and um because of covid at the moment we're having to fill in certain forms uh, online but when we, when we were coming in we were told that they're they're a scanner because when you fill in a form it sends you an email with a scan uh, a barcode scan but the the barcode scanner wasn't working so we had to fill them uh, on papers on hard on hard copies but yeah that's that's that and we're staying safe i just want to say that just in case there are people out there who want to be reassured that we are we are staying safe it's only in our rooms that we're not wearing masks i'm told that um here in gibraltar there's some places where you where you just have to wear a mask when you even when you're outside so uh i guess you're gonna see that maybe if we do go to those places because we're actually not sure which places those are if they are on our tourist list but anywho guys, for now, I'm gonna say bye and try to rest because I am really, really exhausted. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys soon or later. Toodle peep. So we've just received a complimentary, is it a wine? It's a complimentary carver. It's what, a sparkling wine, a bit like champagne, good Spanish. Yeah. 
Yeah, and we don't we actually don't know why we received the complimentary wine. <laughs> However, they did say happy belated birthday to you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it could be because of your birthday. Cause as you know guys, it was David's birthday yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh, didn't did I sing happy birthday for you, baby? Yes, you did. Sing. I didn't did I sing happy birthday for you? But yeah. So we're just gonna enjoy that while I chill. So we're about to go and have lunch now. We're just waiting for David's friend uh, Who should be here anytime soon? Uh -huh. she's, she's gonna suggest some places to go and have our lunch from You want to say something David? No, I think you covered it perfectly fine. He drank my champagne. I just want to add Well, otherwise he'd have drunk it he drank my champagne, it's a point! Mm. But anyway guys, uh, we'll catch up with you sooner. Actually, we'll catch up with you later. But let us just let me just do a 360 degrees twirl. You said twirl, right? Yes! Gibraltar has the lighting on me and it's on point! <laughs> yeah, but anyway guys, uh, we'll catch up with you later So we just had our lunch and uh, I'm just waiting for David. I'm not sure where we're going to be going. The reason why I have this mask on is because remember that place I told you you have to wear a mask in? This is one of the areas. So if you don't wear a mask here, you get fined for it. So <laughs> a mask outside, just how crazy is that? But anyway, uh, we're gonna, where, where are we heading? We are heading to the bottom of the cable car initially yeah. to find out what they can do in terms of multiple day tickets. If, as I suspect, that they uh, cannot really do anything, yeah. then we're gonna walk down to Europa, which is quite a long walk. 
to the southern point of Gibraltar. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you hear that. <laughs> Via possibly the botanical garden. Alright, so we'll see you there guys. Hey guys, so we made our, I mean, we didn't manage to make our inquiry at the, what's the place called? What place? Where we went. Where did we go? Well, we did make the inquiry, honey. Oh, what, the, um... The lift's taking us up to the rocks. Yeah, They're yeah. closed. So we are at the Botanical Gardens which is literally just like a minute's walk away from uh, the place so we're going to expl explore that tomorrow instead but today we are going to be looking at the botanical gardens So we've come to the end of the first part of our Gibraltar vlog. There's just so much footage so I thought why not break it. So I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye!